Hey everyone. So today we'll be talking about determinant of a very nice matrix. Before revealing that matrix, let me ask you this question. If A is my this matrix, and if I ask you what is the determinant of this matrix, then what will you do? First thing is you do the simple calculation, zero into all those things, the normal method of determinant that you always apply. But then if you are smart enough, smart as in I mean, if you just look at this matrix carefully, then you will see that this is a nice matrix. Nice as in what? If you take the transpose of this matrix, transpose as in one what? So when you take the transpose, we know that the diagonal entries do not change its position and this will get reflect and this will go over there. So I have here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and this will go over there. Minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5, minus 6, minus 7, minus 8, minus 9, minus 10. So this is what the transpose is. And if I multiply my A by minus sign, if you multiply by minus sign, this becomes positive, this becomes negative. Actually, this is equal to A transpose. So this is a skew symmetric matrix because when I'm taking the transpose, I'm getting negative of A. So this is a skew symmetric matrix. Good. And what we are getting? The determinant we are getting. Actually, you can solve this. Answer is zero. Okay. So it's a skew symmetric matrix and determinant is zero. So can you conjecture that uh, determinant of a skew symmetric matrix is zero? Well, think over it. Because if I give you 0, 1, minus 1, 0, if I'm calling this as a matrix B, is this a skew symmetric matrix? Yes, because if I take the transpose, it is nothing but negative of B. But what is the determinant of B? It is 1, right? 0 minus of minus 1, which is plus 1. So this is a skew symmetric matrix, but the determinant is non-zero. So the question is, when can you say the determinant is 0 or non-zero? Is there any result? answer is yes and that's what we are going to prove today and the result is a very nice result for that i will need two properties of a determinant and those two properties or you might say theorem those two things i will need is the first property i will need is determinant of a matrix is equal to the determinant of its transpose so you have a matrix you take its determinant you take the transpose of that matrix and then you find the determinant you always get the same answer and the second thing I will need is determinant of k times a where k is what k is any real number is equal to k raised to n into determinant of a. What is this n? Your a is a square matrix. It's a square matrix of order n means your a is a n cross n matrix. Okay, so this is what this n represents. This k comes out from each row. And it, it's an n cross n matrix, so it will come out n times. Therefore, k raised to n. So these two things I will need. Okay, now suppose if you have a skew symmetric matrix. So suppose I will state the statement at the end. Let's try to prove it. Okay, so suppose if my A is a skew symmetric matrix. That means what I have A transpose equal to minus of A. That is given to me that A is a skew symmetric matrix. Now, if I take the determinant on both sides, what is determinant of A transpose? It is Since both the matrices are same, when I take the determinant, still they are same. But this is what? This is nothing but minus 1 into A, right? Because this is, I am simply multiplying by minus sign. Multiplying by minus sign means I am multiplying by minus 1. But now if you take the second property, what is this? It says the scalar comes outside n times. So this is minus 1 raised to n into determinant of A. And what do I have? Determinant of A transpose. Now you apply first property over here. What is determinant of A transpose? It is determinant of A. Right? Now if I bring this on my left hand side, I have determinant of A minus minus 1 raised to n into determinant of A equal to 0. And now this is 1 minus minus 1 raised to n you take out determinant of a common it's a number right so you can take out outside you can take it outside okay now we are through almost like now suppose if your n is an odd number my n is a natural number we know that moreover suppose it's an odd number if my n is odd 
दैट मीन्स वॉट आई हैव दिस इज वॉट माइनस वन बिकॉज माइनस वन रेस टू और इज माइनस वन सो दिस इज वॉट दिस इज नथिंग बट टू टाइम्स डिटर्मिनेंट ऑफ आई इक्वल टू जीरो बट इफ द प्रोडक्ट ऑफ टू नंबर इज जीरो वन ऑफ नंबर हैज टू बी जीरो वी आर इन रियल नंबर और यू कैन से कॉम्प्लेक्स नंबर सो सिंस टू इज नॉन जीरो दिस इंप्लाइज डिटर्मिनेंट ऑफ ए इज जीरो सो वेन एवर यू हैव अव सिमेट्रिक मेट्रिक्स ऑफ ऑर्डर ऑफ ऑड ऑर्डर देन इट्स डिटर्मिनेंट इज ऑलवेज जीरो वॉट अबाउट इवन इफ माई एन इज इवन देन इफ माई एन इज इवन देन दिस इट सेल्फ इज जीरो then this can be zero cannot be zero so you cannot conclude okay so when n is even you cannot say anything but when n is odd this term becomes non zero therefore this has to be zero and therefore the example which i gave you at the start it was a skew symmetric matrix and what was the order order was 5 which is an odd number and therefore its determinant is zero and therefore if i want to give you a statement of a theorem which you will always see in many standard books the theorem says the statement is if a is a skew symmetric matrix of odd order then determinant of a is always zero and that's what the proof i wrote over here okay so when if you say very big matrix and someone is asking you the determinant just check whether it's a skew symmetric or not if yes your job becomes very easy provided it's of odd order okay so i hope you understood the lecture if yes do not forget to like share and subscribe thank you